This is just an excerpt from a full episode. If you enjoyed what you hear here, go check out other full episodes, either on YouTube or as part of the podcast feed. Enjoy. On to ABC Bias News now. Looney leftist opinion factory and national broadcaster, the ABC, has been accused of another of its outrageous leftist rants, the likes of which have not been seen since Johnson and Friends formed a communist outpost in the Australian outback and attempted to secede from the country, forming the leftist paradise Marxtopia, which was promptly destroyed by those bully kids Gribble and Tiger from Round the Twist in a scathing act of maintaining the ABC's Charter of Balance. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. The comments labelled pro-labour, disgusting, were heard during an ABC election review in 2019. I mean, come on, making pro-labour comments during election coverage makes me sick. The ABC needs to pick up its game. Right, let's break it down. What happened? The impartiality review found during the May 6 episode, the former wife of New South Wales Liberal Premier, a Liberal Party member of more than 50 years, and unmasked Labour spy in a coalition clothing, Catherine Greener, was commenting on Bill Shorten's May 2019 federal election launch and was complimentary about his very strong team. Greiner continued to slather her unabashed, biased praise for Labour saying, I think the women on that are very credible. Coincidentally, I happened to work for both Chris Bowen and Tanya Plibersek when they were ministers, when I was the chair of the government company. You know, very competent individuals. So there's a competency on both sides, but I think that the Labour Party will win out because they have more women. These comments were seen to be negative for the coalition, and they're right. Like pointing out that the Labour Party has both women and competent ministers is very negative for the coalition, as they have continuously gone for more of an outy general model of governments rather than the any genital style preferred by women, making it very hard for women to get a position of power. And on top of that, they have shown a preference for a uh, Mr. Magoo inspired failing your way to the top, where ministers are continuously stumbling from one ministerial profile to another, stumbling blindly into all sorts of capers on the way accidentally finding themselves stealing taxpayers money for all sorts of hilarious antics hey maybe your pork barrel and electorate or find yourself overpaying for a land deal with a mate or getting fired from a profile for mismanagement of privacy details public funds or some mysterious reason that has managed to stay hidden from the public and that mystique has allowed you to rise in the ranks under the cloak of assumed incompetence without evidence Oh man, that's so Mr. Magoo. He's always finding himself in one scrape or another. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, lest you think that the bias displays ended there, let me inform you, dear listener, they did not. The broadcasting watchdog has found the ABC breached impartiality guidelines in a Four Corners report about water rights buybacks in the Murrumbidgee Valley by not including enough of the government's perspective, mostly because Susan Lay and bureaucrats from the relevant department had declined on-camera interviews and told producers that no one from the government would comment for the story. Which is a surprising display of forethought for a government whose approach to saving Australia from climate change induced burning and drowning is to heavily invest in coal mines and gas. The July 2019 program looked 
that the federal government's water grants for farmers under the Murray-Darling Basin Plan. It examined whether the water grants were a colossal waste of taxpayer money and whether multi-million dollar subsidies had been secretly handed to big businesses. The ACMA said the program should have acknowledged in a meaningful way that aspects of the infrastructure scheme were contested and other views existed. I mean, I suppose this is the government equivalent of teaching creationism in a science class. Other views exist. Quite frankly, it's about time that the ABC was brought to task for its lack of informing people that other things exist, be they other ideas, philosophies, government parties who could run the country and fund the ABC, breakfast cereals, planets that we can live on after we destroy this one. Hang on, what's that? There, there isn't? I'm being told that there isn't any other planets that we can live on. Well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree on that one.